The Bible says in Colossians 1.13, He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love. Let us pray. Father, may your word go forth in clarity. May your people be edified and may you be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. The Lord Jesus has done great things for us, for we were all bound by sin. You know, bound by that evil sin. But Jesus, by his precious blood, has delivered us. And I don't think that there's a greater message today than deliverance from all that ails you. Hallelujah. Because think about it for just a second. You can have everything that this world has to offer, yet you have no peace inside, yet you have no hope. The Bible declares in the Gospel of John, the 10th chapter and the 10th verse, the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. When salvation is taken for the wonderful blessing that it is, you know, which opened the door to an everlasting eternal relationship with God the Father, you realize it's a beautiful thing. We no longer belong to the enemy, for he has been defeated. Defeated, and here comes the good news according to Paul in our text today. He said in Colossians 1.13, He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love. We have been placed in good hands. I want you to know tonight, everything that we have, and everything that we now are, it belongs to Jesus. And that's good news. Why? Because he's able to keep us.